All right, so here's what we got. We've already got a session open here. Uh, you can put 1920 by 1080 for your size. Uh, so we got this Anderson head, which we cut out. We did this with a layer mask. So if you do disable layer mask, that was the image. It's kind of moved around and rotated, but enable layer mask. And that's what we have. Uh, we quickly cut around him. So what we can do is sharpen on sharp mask. Crank that up a little bit. Take it off, put it on, off, on, decent, accept it, um, throw on a stroke, bring it down to one, put it on, let's try the inside, bring down the opacity to around 50, put it on the center outside click OK and I pull in this other picture over here and I stretched him out this gay looking guy stretched him out and then slap on his head actually we don't I don't like that stroke unless it's going to be maybe on the inside take it off it down more okay now what we actually want to do is cut out this guy hmm let me see can we get him in the hat should we get him in the hat I think Anderson can come down a little bit so you see the bow tie Alright, so what we can do is, we've got this layer, duplicate it, control J, it's going to duplicate it. What we want on this one is to grab, quickly now, we'll grab the hat. Very rough job here, we'll just click, click, keep on clicking. We're not going to see the top of the hat anyway. Just get the hat the best we can quickly. Might not even use it, but let's try it. Boom, and then we'll go to this mask. We just popped it out, so if we remove the layer, we have the hat can bring up the feather a little to smooth out the edges just a hair same with the feather here might be too much on Anderson okay um, what we can do is bring that layer above and make it a little bigger control T a little bigger possibly Tilt it a little about there ish, right about there ish. Hit enter, come back in here on your layer mask, go to the black, get rid of a little bit of that. Oh, got rid of too much, put some of that back. Oh, what am I doing? Put some of that back. I gotta put it here. Switch back to black. Remove some of that. Put some of this back right here and then take it out. Right there. Ah, too much. Undo. Alright, good enough. Slap the other image back in. Um, what we want to do is cut out this dude, cut him out again very quickly, zoom in, we'll just cut him very 
basic. I mean, this is going to be a thumbnail, so it's going to be small. We don't have to worry about getting too detailed. Time is of the essence. So let's see, we just cut up there. We don't need his face. His straps, his shoulders, move it, move it. Click, 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 close enough. Back over here. Seal it up. Click the mask. Pop these two things back on. Alright, the logo <coughs> can probably be over here. And then for the background. So actually what we want to do is take we can sharpen this. a little thicker off on can sharpen the hat it's fine we can feather that hair then we can actually take what we did on this actually we'll, we can pull up a drop shadow and give him a little bit of a drop shadow his head Oh, look at that. We're getting stuff we don't want. Well, let's see. We just drag his drop shadow up a little bit. I don't think the drop shadow is going to work in this case. But let's try that for now. Click OK. We're going to come back here. Brush. Erase that. Um... Yeah, drop shadow is not really working at the moment. We'll come and take that off, and we'll take and we'll click over here and put right click, copy, layer style. We'll add it to this one, paste layer style. Where is it? Click in the middle. There we go. Okay, and we could do it to this one as well, kind of on the little link or around the link above it paste layer style okay so the hat could rotate a little more control T slight rotation bring it over down good enough okay and then for the background the background here we go Gay flag. We'll just take your typical gay flag like this, maybe. Save as. Throw it on the desktop. Pull it. Oh, come on. It didn't save. Really? Save image as. So we'll do copy image. Come over to Photoshop. Save it. No! I just oversaved the wrong thing. Okay, we don't need that other one. Edit. Save as. That's the risk you run when you work off a previous session. I just oversaved it. I'm sure I could go find the old, but I'm never going to use that old one again so I don't really care so yeah, here's the title Pastor Steven Anderson has the spirit of a woman copy that paste it in here save that all right we're gonna go to this flag highlight it copy image click on this paste it control T Spread it out, nice and big, make that statement, filter on sharp mask, it's a little too sharp, a little less sharpening, a little thicker lines maybe, preview off, preview on. 
Um, we're going to move it to the back layer. And then we could pop our curves on. Our curves brighten the brights a little, darken the darks a little. Could even throw on a hue and saturation and pop some saturation into it. And then I think we're done. I think we're pretty much done. I'm going to take the flag and move it over a little. Control T, drag it out, drag it over, drag it down. Hmm, kind of like this maybe. Save it. We don't really want our tack times, you know, touching that nasty gay flag. Okay, I think that's it. We can take him, 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 hold, holding shift, col collected them all, and just drag them over a little to the right maybe, to the left. We put him over to mm. I wonder control T if we rotate him at all. <laughs> and then stretch them out. I want to see more of his... No, I was thinking the hat should be wider. Go to the hat, control T, drag it out a little bit. Drag it over, rotate it some. Zoom in. Come to the uh, tap tap left down. Come to here and shrink my brush a little and place back some of this actually remove some of that um, come back to the Anderson head and actually put back in some of that there we go nice very nice super I think that's it I think we're done I mean it's a poor quality image I mean what else is there? Pastor Steven Anderson. There's no high resolution um, images of him. This is the one I used. Kind of low res. Um, well, they're all pretty much low re res put that one instead and I kind of like I mean he looks super gay in the one that we use so I mean this is really good doesn't get much gayer than that should I put my tag time should I make my tag times nice and pink no I don't know that we should do that should we do that let's just see what it looks like really quick add a layer we'll bring it over the tag times We'll pick this hot pink color and click OK. Paint the whole background. Hold Alt. Click right here. We got a pink tack times. I don't know about that. Maybe tap the color again and get a lighter pink, like this lighter pink, and then paint it. What do you think? 
Oops, wrong button. No pink. Pink, no pink. I don't know how pinks. Pink kind of works in this case. It really kind of does. The green just, I don't know. The pink kind of works. So we'll go ahead and we'll take that and then we'll maybe make it a little redder, pinkish, redder. Pinky pink, maybe like that. Paint it in. It's a little much. It's a little too much pink. I'll undo that. I think this pink is better. And then we can stroke it. Oh, sorry, wrong thing. The stroke it. We have the stroke on it, but we could up it till like let's try 13 on the outside. Good. Inside. Center. Outside. Let's bring it down to 10. Inner shadow. Inner glow. Satin. Size. Ooh, nice and satin pink. Satin pink. Kind of looking like cotton candy. We don't need color overlay, gradient, pattern overlay, outer glow. Click on the outer glow. Spread it down like that. There we go. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not bad. Now, I still think it's a little dark, the pink. Let me come up here. Pink it up a little more like this. Oh, back to the text. Back on the text. I'm not sure about that satin. Kind of, maybe more of a satiny. Kind of like that. Less. There we go. Angle. Distance. That's good. Inner glow. Choke it size. Choke it less. I think we're good. I mean, it stands it stands better against the blue than the white because it's a pinkish color. So I'm gonna take off that. Might want to put a drop shadow. Ooh, get that color off. Make it black, and then the size, the spread. position yeah kind of like it better without it all right I think we're good so if we shrink it down maybe that satin is hurting it but it kind of looks like the clouds in the background not bad not bad what we can do is instead of t making this pink we could take his this clip of the shirt it should be this clip and bring it up holding alt above here and then what we could do is hold alt here and attach it to that clip 
not sure if I did that right. Drag it over here. No, I don't think I did that right. I need to, hold, I need to attach this clip to there. There we go. And there's the shirt now. So what we did was instead of having this layer, we trashed that. And then we could probably even take off that satin. See, it looks like satin off. Kind of like the satin on. But let's take it off for now, and then we'll take this shirt area, control T, and just stretch it out a little more. Stretch it down, rotate it, move it up, place it in the background. Stretch, stretch. There we go. And so, this is where it is if you were to. If you were to unattach it, that's where it is. Now we attach it and it pops it through the to the logo. So it matches his shirt. Now the only thing about it, we got the curves on, we got the saturation on. We can actually take a saturation, human saturation, link it to this clip, hold alt, click it. Click on here and pop the saturation just of that, just of that Tac Times logo itself. Crunch that saturation up. Maybe darken it here. There we go. Nice. Maybe a little about there ish. And we could test this again with the satin and see what it looks like. Ooh, kind of nice actually. Satin off, satin on. Zoom out, satin off, satin on. I think we're just going to go with it off, even though it kind of looks cool on. Or is this this inner glow? There we go. Take off the satin. Ooh. The inner glow. Inner glow off. Stroke. Stroke can come down to 7, 13, the color of the stroke, back to 10, the color of the stroke can be like, let's try red, yellow, green, blue, purple, skin tone, purple bow tie. Um, this saturation might be too much. Pull it down some. I really think we're done at this point. We're just like overkilling it. Just overkilling it. So if we take this off. That's better pink. All right, ready? Save as. Mm. Ooh, I'm tired. Mm. Happy Independence Day, everyone. It's 4th of July. File save as. JPEG. The title's already there because my session's named that. Crank that up if I can. Probably just need to go just under two megabyte megabytes. 1.3 is fine. Save that. Minimize this. Shrink this. Pull back my video, which is here. 36 views. Edit. And then custom thumbnail. Get to delete all these downloads. Custom thumbnail woman there it is open it there we go save it and let's go look at it on our channel view channel there it is 
nice and fresh, fresh and ready. Could take all these, delete them, empty the trash, and there you have it. There you have it. Your new thumbnail. Pastor Steven Anderson has the spirit of a woman. All right. In his pink outfit. Just like this woman. All right. That's it. Have a nice day. Have a nice day.